Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're playing Malik Dory in Project 1999, working on some blacksmithing. And first I want to say thank you to Mubis for going to Togzilla for me and getting 10 stacks of metal sheets. Cost me around 200 plat or so, which was well worth it. If you take the fact that it would probably cost me half that to make it myself, but would have taken me an hour and a half. It was very, very well worth it to me. And I ended up giving some um, some armor out at the end. Whenever I finally got to 168. Just because I want to congratulate people for me getting 168, I guess. I don't know. Um, so once I get to 168, that means I need to start getting my brewing up to 135. And then we're going to start making a teardal chain armor imbued, uh, nonetheless. There's a lot of prep work that's going to go into actually making the imbued armor, but it's definitely going to be worth it. One of the things, like I said, is I need to get 135 in brewing so that I can make the Shadow Temper. The Shadow Temper requires Nereac Nectar, which you purchase. You need to get Elven Blood, which you get from... Ocean of Tears, the sisters on the sister island, and you get Shadow Temper, or the Shadow Essence, rather, from the Shadow Men here in Nectalus Forest, or in Lava Storm, or anywhere, I guess, but those are really close to me, so that's what I'm going to be using. Combine those, you get your Shadow Temper, and then uh, the next thing is Sapphires. Now, you can buy the sapphires if you want, but for me, I know a spot in Runny Eye that I can actually farm just sapphires, and it will allow me to cut down my cost. It's just going to take the time to get them. After that, then I need a level 29 cleric to imbue the gems and a level 48 or 49 enchanter to enchant the bars i'm actually leveling an enchanter and i'm leveling a cleric just for that purpose that said i i'm going to go ahead and try to get uh friends to help me out with that now you might also be saying well you know you can actually get a inner rock troll shaman to imbue the gems for you as well to that i say you jest, because there is no way I'm going to let a troll touch my gems. Uh, but that's that's all good and well. I'm going to be able to get those um, those uh, gems, get them imbued. Uh, already have some feelers out to get some Shadow Temper, uh, because if I can get the Shadow Temper, I guess I can um, work on just only getting the Sapphires, get them imbued, and then get the... Um, the items enchanted by the way here's the hard part about this whole situation is that while it takes time to get the blood and while it takes time to get the essence of shadow and while it takes time to get the sapphires it takes a lot of mana to enchant bars so you are talking about time that it's going to take probably going to have a friend that will be able to help me but he's not going to sit there all day enchanting bars for me. So that is one of the reasons I need to get my enchanter leveled up. Because while he won't want to do it, I don't have a problem doing it for myself. Because I'm making money off of it. <laughs> and uh, while I can uh, pay to have it enchanted, uh, again, people don't want to just sit around enchanting bars all day. Also, the same goes for the gems. 29, though, is more reasonable versus 49. It's not like I can take my 17 enchanter to 49 in a few days. But I can take a cleric to level 29 in probably a few days if I worked hard on it. And got several uh, levels a day, got into some good groups, and all of that. So, um, yeah... I, I want to get to a point where I can do the whole process myself. So I ended up having Khalifa come up to me and ask me if I could help him get his corpse. He said he died in the underground area, but um, I ended up just going based off tracking 
found out that his corpse was um, close to the wall, um, and so I just dragged it through through the wall and uh, didn't see where it was that he actually died. I don't know of a mob in the underground area that would have killed him, or not a mob, but an NPC, because of the fact that um, I am an Aryadite myself on my wizard, and he has never had any issues in the underground area. Though maybe I never went into a room that had a dark elf that hated me. I even hailed this guy just to see uh, what his... Um, so that, what his status was, or if he had anything to say, give me some information on who might have killed him, <laughs> um, was, but was able to go ahead and get his corpse for him, which was, uh, which was good. Um, he ended up, uh, getting, uh, his corpse looted, and I went ahead and showed him where the staff of the wheel item drops. Also, at the end, whenever he was leaving, I offered that I would help him if he needed help in Lower Guck. Because I know whenever I was doing the Staff of the Wheel, I had help on every part of it. Every part. Because I was level 9, I didn't have invisibility yet, and had the whole community come out and help me pretty much on it. So I, I was um, I was grateful and wanted to pass that on to him. Um, do I really go ahead and continue crafting here? Um, actually, I think what I was doing, I was going based off of good luck. Maybe if I uh, do um, some combines after helping him out, I'll go ahead and get a skill point or something. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, but ended up getting 167 right there. Thank goodness, that means I only have one more to go. And then I go ahead and show him where the staff is. Uh, or it's actually called a rod. It's a ground spawn. It looks like a mod rod in the water. It's just right outside of, uh, of where the forge is and on the ground. It's, it's just really easy to see. It's actually next to a bag that, that spawns in here as well. I think it's for another quest. But yeah, helped him out and got back to the forge. Before Califil left, I did extend an offer that I would help him in Guck if he needed help. Um, getting that last piece for his staff of the wheel, he ended up logging though. So um, yeah, if he needs any help with that, I'm going to definitely help him with it. It's one of those parts that I had some problems with uh, getting done whenever I was doing it with my wizard both times whenever i was level nine and whenever i was level 49 so yeah very cool um oh just got level one or just got 168 yeah 168 <laughs> time to go sell and um yeah i i thought that once i ended up getting 168 that i would go ahead and help out a newbie i figured i wasted all this money uh getting to this point why not embellish a newbie with the gear uh, or a set of gear? That way they could have some extra AC. They could help themselves if they needed to. Or they didn't need a piece. They could go ahead and sell it uh, for maybe one or two plat per AC, I think it was. Is that, is that how you sell it? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and help out a newbie. And I have to say that as long as you're a Dark Elf, and even if you're not new to the game, but you can't afford to gear out a character, um, you are considered a newbie to me still on that specific character, and I want to help you out. It doesn't matter. As long as you're a Dark Elf. If you're anything else, um, good riddance. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll help out those trolls and ogres as well, but I'm not going to like it. But I'm not going to help out anyone else. <laughs> um, it's it's not of my nature uh, to do that. But yeah, we uh, we went ahead and made a full set. The only person that was on was a cleric, which I thought was fine. I'll go ahead and give them that. And uh, it would at least help them out with some stats. And I uh, don't know if they were it or not. I know they put the helmet on, but don't know about the rest. And I uh, really don't care. It, that's not why I did it. I was doing it just as, as a, um, a nicety. Just to help someone out. And uh, yeah. So anyway guys. 
Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm, I'm done here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.